All right, what up, though? DJ Star back with another unboxing, and we're going to get right into it. I'm pretty sure by now you've seen this unboxing a, a bunch of times, and by this time this, this video release, you have one day to cop these. I want to say release on July 3rd, 2020, for retail of $190. And what we have is a different box, which is dope, because you can differentiate this box between your other boxes and your Air Jordan. So this is nice. You got that cement print right there. You got your flight with the jump man all done in red on a white top and it looks really, 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 really clean in my opinion. But I'm not gonna hold y'all up. I'm gonna jump right into this one. And today we have the Air Jordan 4. Um, colorway is white, tech gray. And these released, like I said, again, July 3rd for $190 retail. And in my opinion, this is super ass clean. They did one up, excuse me, they did one hell of a job with this one. And it's really, really, really clean. <clears throat> and I just like the whole look, the whole out thing. I mean, I'm not saying they better than the original cement, white cements, but it's close to me, in my opinion. These are dope. <clears throat> so we'll start at the bottom as we always do. You see you have your traditional Air Jordan 4 traction. You got your stars on here done in that tech gray, all white bottom with the red jump man in the middle. Remember if it's a jump man on the bottom or a jump man on the back, it's gonna be a vice versa. If you got jump man at the bottom, you always gonna have a jump man on the back. And you go to the midsole, and this is where it really shines right here. And right here it's done in all see that tech gray or cement gray with the speckles in it. And it looks really, really clean. Really, really clean. And what I do like about these, they seem like Jordan Brand took my advice instead of making this white like always, it's, it's tech gray inside there. So that makes it really, really clean. You go up to the upper, it's done in a nice leather. I'm not saying it's super plush, but if you can see the way that's creasing as I push it in, it's really, really nice. It got somewhat of a tumble effect, but it's really, really soft. And that's what I think is dope about the shoe. It's just really, really soft, really clean. Definitely a dope summer shoe. You got your white net in here and here, and then you got your waffles or your wing tips done in that cement gray or white, <clears throat> all white wrapped around here. You look at the tongue, they did it in all white. They didn't do a flight patch like you normally get on your Air Jordan 3, so that definitely makes it, I mean, Air Jordan 4s, I'm sorry, that definitely make it stand out. They just did it white with the red Jumpman stitch very, very, very well. <clears throat> and then behind it, it's, it's silver, but they got you the OG cut. As you see, it's not. Flipping up, you can't really see it. They got it tucked back there. And they did it in the satin. And if you can see that glimmer on it, that's a satin look. That's really clean. And then your Air Jordan upside down, stitched in here in red on white. Bottom of the shoe, I want to say that, yeah, that's tech gray as well with a red jump man. <clears throat> and then look at that lining. I don't know if they super plush anything, but that that sheen on that um, satin makes it look really, really clean in my opinion. And I think that's one of the dopest touches on the shoe. And then you get to the heel. Done um, your normal Air Jordan 4 heel, but not done in plastic, done in that, um, a leather. I always like the leather better because it feels better on the back of your shins. And then you see your jump man right here done in that tech gray. So that's really about it for the shoe. As you see in the um, lateral side, I mean the medial side, it's um, more of that tech gray. And this is really clean, man. I think they did a really good job on the shoe. Like I said, the shoe comes out Saturday. You should already have your raffles in or talk to your plugs and people already. I'm not saying it's going to be a hard shoe to cop, but I'm not saying it's going to be an easy one. From what I'm seeing, everybody's kind of going for these. So, because it's a nice, white, clean summer shoe. So, I can see everybody kind of hyped to really get their hands on them. So, you should got to be putting in work, but you should already have your work put in. I'm sorry I got to this video so late, but it's kind of hard getting them in hand. And I'm going to look at the size run real fast. It looked like it was done December 2nd to February 22. So again, about two months, almost two and a half months of um, manufacturing there. So it seemed like that would be a decent GR, but these days everything kind of kind of sells out really fast. So these shoes was are super, 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 super clean. In my opinion, these shoes are super, super clean. Definitely, um, I'm trying to get my hands on a pair. I've been talking to my people too. So I'm trying to get my hands on a pair. This is really clean for the summer. And um, that's about it. So drop your comments down below and tell me what you think. If these are, um, you know, it's in a must cop or maybe cop or you'll see if there's any pairs left type of deal. But the execution on the shoe is done really well. I don't see really any glue stains, anything like they took their time with it. So really, really clean. So with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. As always, subscribe to the videos. Um, or subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping new content. And also, please like, comment, and share on the videos. It goes a long way to help the channel grow. And with that being said, 
Love, peace, and prosperity. I'm gone.